Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and in today's video I want to go over 10 new PC game releases coming this month in December Now 10 is a lot of games and while there are some major games being released in December There are also some underrated games that are going under the radar So I'm gonna try to cover PC game releases monthly and while I'll be covering the big releases I also want to highlight some of the smaller games now the thing about PC gaming and a lot of the indies is sometimes They just come out of absolutely nowhere. So you don't even have an indication a couple weeks ahead it just releases on Steam and then it's out and it turns out to be a good game and I'll try to cover those in the future as well with other creative videos but for now all of these games are announced for December and I'll start off with the games that I think you guys are going to be more aware of and find more enticing and then we'll work our way down into some games that I think you guys should have on your radar and titles that could turn out to be sleeper hits so without further ado let's kick it off and we first have the latest game in a long-running PC franchise and that is Just Cause 4 that'll be coming out on December 4th. Just Cause is one of those franchise that I've talked really really highly about whenever Just Cause 2 is on sale I always give that a recommendation because it's an open world game that still holds up today and Just Cause 3 fundamentally is a really good game just had some technical issues on PC you guys can even look up Just Cause 3 on my channel and you'll see some gameplay videos where that game was not running all too hot at launch and I was playing it with a 970 I believe and yeah just not the best running game back then but now when that game is on sale I give that a recommendation as well and now we have the release of Just Cause 4. Now, while I'm excited for this game, this is a game that I could foresee going on sale rather quickly. It's a Square Enix published title. Square Enix also put out Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider went on sale very quickly. But still, Just Cause is one of those franchises that if you drop your full $60, you do know that you're going to get a quality amount of content out of it. And let's just hope this time around its technical performance is on point. Just Cause 4 drops on December 4th, but if you do buy the special edition, you do get it 24 hours early. I think that's kind of lame that they do that. Incentivizing you to pay more money to get access to the game earlier. I'm not a big fan of that, but a lot of games have been doing that. But hey, just gonna have to deal with that. For those of you wanting to pay $59.99, Just Cause 4 will be dropping on December 4th. Next up, a game that I think a bunch of PC gamers have really been looking forward to. Insurgency Sandstorm will finally be dropping on December 12th. Insurgency is another game that I talked very very highly of and when that game goes on sale it's as low as like $1.49 and there was actually a time period where they were giving that game out for free to kind of promote Insurgency Sandstorm. Sandstorm is finally coming out it's gonna be released at $29.99 but if you do pre-order the game you get a little bit of a discount and you'll pick it up for $26.99 and this is one of those games that is absolutely worth it and they even threw out a more budget price point for it so that's great. If you're unfamiliar with Insurgency, it's a very tactical-oriented FPS. It's team-based, so you really have to communicate, and I like those kinds of first-person shooters. And Sandstorm really looks to be building upon all of the successes of the first title. Again, Insurgency Sandstorm will be dropping on December 12th. If you're even remotely into first-person shooters, if you like them in a more hardcore sense and realistic sense, this is gonna be right up your alley. Next up, we have a game that's coming to early access, and I think it's a game that a lot of you guys don't even know about, and for those of you like me and you're into Japanese RPGs, this is one to absolutely have on your radar and it is edge of eternity that is coming to early access on december 5th so as an early access title you do have to kind of have your expectations in line do expect some issues some bugs but this is a game that was originally kickstarted a while back and right away from a visual standpoint it's hard not to be captivated by this game but then when you dig deeper of what's actually in this game it's touting a grand tale of hope and sacrifice filled with plot twists and heart-wrenching moments so about typical jrpg fare but there also seems to be a gorgeous world to discover and probably Probably most enticing is the fact that the soundtrack is coming to you from Yasunori Mitsuda. Mitsuda also brought you the soundtrack of Chrono Trigger and Xenoblade Chronicles, so this is shaping up to be a high-quality game. It's coming to early access on December 5th. Also in December, we have the follow-up to Kingdom with Kingdom 2 Crowns. That'll be coming on December 11th. Again, Kingdom 2 Crowns is the follow-up to Kingdom, and in this title, you have to work in a brand new solo, or the focus is a co-op campaign mode, to build your kingdom and secure it from the threat of the greed. I loved Kingdom's stylish presentation. While it wasn't a game that I got super invested into, I could definitely understand why a lot of gamers appreciated the strategy gameplay style and the overall presentation. And it does seem like Kingdom 2 Crowns is going a little bit under the radar, but keep an eye on it. It's coming December 11th. So after Kingdom 2 Crowns, that's a follow-up to a notable game. Now we're going into the games that a lot of people don't really know are coming. Maybe you didn't even hear about some of these games. I want to start things off with Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. That's coming on December 4th. And this is a game I think every PC game 
gamer should know about. It's coming from a team including former designers of Hitman and Payday, and now they are bringing forth Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, a tactical adventure game that combines the turn-based combat of XCOM with real-time stealth and the exploration of a post-human world reclaimed by nature and mutants. The world has extreme climate change, global economic crisis, a lethal pandemic, and increasing tension between old and new superpowers. The only thing I could see pushing some people away from Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden is the fact that it is coming at $34.99, which is still not a full $59.99, and I personally find it to be a palatable price point, especially when you throw that XCOM-style gameplay tag on it. That's always gonna get me in the door, however, I could see some people waiting for a sale, but at the very least, add it to your wishlist, because I do think this is gonna be a title that ends up surprising a lot of people. Next up, we have a game that's been in early access for a very long time, finally getting its full release. It's a game that I was following for quite a while, but then I completely forgot about, and then it came to my attention that it is seeing its full release in December, and that is Kenshi. Kenshi is another super interesting game that I don't think a lot of people know about. Yes, from a technical standpoint, it's not the best looking game in the world, but what it is is a free roaming squad based RPG focusing on open ended sandbox gameplay while straying away from your typical linear story that a lot of RPGs have. You can be a traitor, a thief, a rebel, a warlord, an adventurer, a farmer, a slave, or just food for the cannibals. There's a lot of options and the world is really yours to explore. I never had the chance to really delve into it myself, but as the full release is coming, I'm definitely going to give this game a shout, and recent reviews of the title and early access have the game at 96% positive, that's overwhelmingly positive, positive. and if you guys are familiar with Steam reviews, not a lot of games hit that threshold. Definitely expect me to cover this game as the full release does come on December 6th. Speaking of early access titles getting their full release, Miscreated is getting its full release on December 18th. This is a game that I talked about a little bit, and it's another one of those online hardcore survival games and initially this game was getting a lot of criticism but when you look at it from a technical and fundamental standpoint there seems to be a lot to delve into it's been in early access since all the way back in 2014 and it's a game i feel like a lot of people were talking about initially but a lot of people at the same time have also forgotten about it and forgot that it even existed and i think a very interesting thing to note about this game kind of showing the progression of the title if you look at the overall reviews for the game it's at 69 percent positive that puts it at the mixed category but if you actually look at the recent reviews it fares much better with 248 user reviews being 83% positive. That's very positive. I know Steam reviews aren't the best barometer, but it is something to note. Again, Miscreated will be having its official 1.0 release on December 18th. Moving on, we have a very niche PlayStation 2 title being remastered for PC, and that is Katamari Damacy. It is being dubbed Katamari Damacy Reroll for this remastered edition. It's coming on December 7th, and Katamari is such a unique game and such a hard game to describe and really sell you. You guys are seeing some gameplay, so maybe you'll be captivated by it, but it's got some pretty complex gameplay. As you play as a prince rolling the Katamari around houses, gardens, and towns in order to meet certain parameters set by the king of all cosmos. It's a very zany game, a game that I don't think you should take all too seriously, but it's also very charming. And it wasn't a game that I was ever expecting to see come to PC. You know, there are those games that people always clamor for for PC releases, whether it be a Halo, an RDR2 for a recent example. And then you have those random games that are like, all right, now I'm on PC out of nowhere. And that's kind of what we're getting out of Katamari Damacy Reroll. But Katamari is such a unique title, such a different game. And it's not like it had worldwide commercial appeal, but generally speaking from the people that played it, it was pretty well received. And now PC players can play it when Katamari Damacy Reroll drops on December 7th. Next up is a game that's also a recent discovery of mine, and just looking at the game really captivated me, and that is Desert Child. That's coming on December 11th. Okay, so if you like unique presentation in your games, looking at Desert Child, I feel like it's hard not to be captivated and absorbed by the style of this game. But what is the title itself? Well, Desert Child has you play as a young and talented hover bike racer who needs to figure out how you can scrape enough cash together through racing and odd jobs to punch your one-way ticket to the Red Planet, being Mars to enter the biggest race in the universe, the Grand Prix. If you guys have any interest in the title, there's actually a bunch of gameplay that's already been uploaded on YouTube, so check some of that out. I don't know if this is a game that everybody's gonna jump out right away and pay that $11.99 to pick it up and play on December 11th when it does drop. However, this is a game that I'm gonna add to my wish list and down the line if it's on sale or say it appears in a humble bundle, Desert Child is a game that I'm definitely gonna check out. Again, it is coming on December 11th. 
And lastly, building off what I said about Desert Child being a game that instantly captivated me just looking at the game, Gris is another one of those games, and Gris is coming on December 13th. Okay, so again, from a visual and presentation standpoint, Gris is one of those games that really absorbs you in, but what is the game itself? It has you play as Gris, a hopeful young girl lost in her own world, dealing with all of the painful experiences in her life. Her journey through sorrow is manifested in her dress, which grants new abilities to better navigate her faded reality. The story unfolds, and Gris will grow emotionally and see her world in a different way, revealing new paths to explore using her new abilities. It touts a serene and evocative experience free of danger, frustration, or death. Players will explore a meticulously designed world brought to life with delicate art, detailed animation, and an elegant original score. What this game reminds me a lot of is Journey and Flower. Those were PlayStation exclusives done by that game company. Very emotional, very thought-provoking, and very moving games, and I foresee we're gonna get something similar here with Gris. That's just speculation on my part, but based on the footage we've seen thus for based on the trailer and just the overall ambiance the game sets. That's definitely the tone that I'm getting, but we'll find out as Gris hits PC on December 13th. So that's gonna conclude this video. Those are 10 new PC games coming in December of 2018. I think a lot of interesting games. I know there are a lot of games that a lot of you guys don't know about, but titles like Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden have me interested. Seeing Kenshi finally come out of early access is great. Insurgency Sandstorm for you multiplayer FPS guys, that's gonna be a great pickup and Just Cause obviously a very notable franchise on PC. Great to see Just Cause 4 come out, and Edge of Eternity might be a title that surprises a lot of people. It is coming in early access, so it might have a rocky road for a little bit, but I'm hoping for the best out of that, especially because initially it is a PC exclusive, so that's pretty interesting, especially for a JRPG. Let me know all of your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. What games or, if any, titles you're planning on picking up in December. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.